It often is proportion. You know, how does one shape relate to another? And the books have them, you know, give you that information and how well you can follow it. Um, and I'm looking at all of these and I'm not seeing any that blatantly jump out at me and I'm thinking, you know, the proportions are all kind of weird and crazy. Um, because I'm, you know, there is something funny about that carpal bone right there and that one. Um, mainly because it's just, that's probably too big of a bone in there. Those little carpal bones, they're little, you know, the skeleton was out here before. Um, they're very tiny. And so there's, there's probably proportion-wise something wrong with that one because there isn't a big one in the middle. You know, something to keep in mind. And we'll see that and others here too. Um, those eight carpal bones do a great deal to what's going to allow this flexibility. And other animals don't necessarily need or have that ability. They have carpal bones. Horses have carpal bones. In fact, the, what we think of the leg, about what we see is here, that front forelock of the front leg of the horse, where what you would think of the horse's knee, by the way, that's the beginning of the carpal bones. Horse. You know, there are not as many carpal bones and they still run in place. But then a horse doesn't need to do this. You know, they still have a radius. You know, the bone is actually fused with the other bone. There are two bones in there still, but, but it's it's not of use. Because once again, the horse doesn't have to go to McDonald's and get change back if it's you know for its, it's I want more oats or something like that. Um, it's pieces that have more contrast stand out better. There are pieces that you can look at on this wall and say, the effort there, the effort there is magnificent. It's monumental. And maybe these pieces on the wall might be yours. You're saying, well, the effort there, I really worked my butt off on that, but it doesn't quite meet up to the standards of another piece in the room. Um, this is project one. I'm hoping that you're looking at what's on the wall and you'll learn a few things about maybe how you might approach it. You might actually ask someone else in the room that did whatever piece that you might admire and then go, how the hell did you do that? Where did you find your reference? What book did you pick up? Because you know, I, I gave you a long list of anatomy books and that, that is the tip of the iceberg, by the way. It's just a few that were on the shelf at home. You know, there are a lot of them out there, quite a few. Um, and, and, and I think I said the internet is a lovely resource, but it doesn't always give you the best of information sometimes.